The Surface Book 3 is Microsoft's new flagship laptop tablet hybrid. It has upgraded top tier specifications and Microsoft is positioning it as a high powered ultra portable device. It's not the only two in one hybrid on the market though, as ironically, Microsoft makes software for some of its major manufacturers to which it's competing with, with the Surface Book 3. This video will take a look at some of the Surface Book 3's alternatives two-in-one laptop hybrids that are available on the market. For the comparison, I tried to find laptops within the same segment as the Surface Book 3, and also for manufacturers that offer the same amount of credibility that Microsoft does. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a message down below. So to start off the comparison, we're going to lay out some of the specs for the Surface Book. The third generation Surface Book has a 10th generation core Intel i5 as its base processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM base, and an upgradable GPU. Overall, some pretty beefy specs for a laptop this thin and portable. Microsoft's emphasis was on performance for creatives and with a dedicated GPU that you can upgrade from the base model and 32 gigabytes of RAM base, this is certainly the case. First up in the comparison, we have the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. This comes with an Intel i7 as its base model and up to 16 gigabytes of RAM base. And you cannot upgrade the GPU on this particular machine. So Dell's venerable XPS line in comparison with the Surface Book 3 for a hybrid laptop offers a stronger chip, but is lacking in both a upgradable GPU and RAM. Next up is another familiar face in the hybrid laptop game, the Lenovo Yoga series, specifically the Lenovo Yoga 920. The Yoga 920 offers a 8th generation Intel i5, 8GB of RAM, and also no upgradable GPU on this hybrid laptop. So if you're seeing a trend here, it's the fact that the base 32 gigabytes of RAM and the ability to upgrade to some pretty beefy graphics cards on the Surface Book 3 is really what sets it apart from some of the ultra portable two-in-one hybrid laptops that are available as an alternative to Microsoft's flagship machine. And finally, we have an honorable mention here, the 2020 iPad Pro, which isn't so much a laptop, but it's a tablet trying to become a laptop. I included it here because it's two very large tech companies' flagship machines that are trying to blur the lines between tablets and laptops. The iPad Pro has a very different set of specs compared to the other laptops in this comparison. And I thought I would just list it here just to show how even though with less RAM and no GPU, it can perform a lot of the tasks that some of these flagship laptops can handle. Just a testament to Apple's end-to-end -end production. So to sum it up, the Surface Book 3 with its latest refresh has a lot better specs compared to some of the other two-in-one hybrids that are available on the market. You can get a stronger chip with the Dell XPS 13, but the fact that you can get a dedicated graphics card and the more RAM on the Surface Book 3 definitely puts it in a better position to appeal to creatives who might need the extra RAM and GPU for certain applications. So if you're looking for just a hybrid laptop for basic needs like web browsing and document processing, you certainly can't go wrong with the XPS 13 and the Lenovo Yoga. But if performance is what you're looking for in your ultra portable, then the Surface Book 3 is a hybrid like no other. Its unique form factor, very high quality screen, and the fact that you can upgrade it to a dedicated GPU really sets it apart from some of these other industry leading manufacturers in terms of creating an ultra portable machine that's both well specced and well built. It's also worth pointing out that of the laptops in this comparison, the Surface Book 3 is the only laptop with a truly detachable screen. The Dell and also the Lenovo laptops are the tent design where you flip the screen over backwards on a fully rotatable hinge. This gives the benefit of being able to use the laptops in tent mode, which comes in handy for presentations and also if you want to use the laptop as a stand-up tablet. The Surface Book's hinge isn't fully rotatable, but it's still a design marvel in itself. And of course, the iPad is something else altogether. So what do you think? Do these laptops stack up in terms of performance, form factor, and build with the Surface Book 3? Leave a message down below. 
don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.